existence? Is it all in your mind? Is existence the product of the dependent arising of the mind? If so, then all that is produced has no true existence from its own side. Also, this means that I have no real existence from my own side. But still here I am. So is existence only a perception of the senses? As though we were all radio antennas tuning into a universe made out of radio waves? Or is it something else? When we look at the science we discover that when we are observing our universe, we are observing an oscillating image like a video film, frame by frame. Scientists have discovered the smaller scale produced in our universe is the Planck scale. At this level, the oscillations that we will call frames per second, as to be able to better understand them, is measurable at 10 to the 44 Planck's frames per second, which is 10 with 44 zeros times behind it per second. Now a movie runs between 24 and 48 frames per second, so our reality is running at 10 with 44 zeros after it of frames per second, way beyond our perception of the senses. Maybe not the mind though. So we can observe our existence in this way, and we can measure it. The smallest unit of measure is one side of the particle of a Planck scale tetrahedron. That's a tiny 3D triangle. So now we can see it and we can measure it. As an observer, an entity of conscious awareness, I'm aware of the differences between the frames per second, the differences of the particle oscillations, given me a perspective of, of time by the oscillations between the frames. As there's motion there, like the rising and setting of the sun, it gives us construct to attach time to. So this uh, eighth dimensional symmetry lattice as an energy field loops backward then feeds forward. So in reality we loop backwards and then feed forwards. Did you know you were a time traveller? And by doing this it produces time, in a sense giving us time scale that is conceived by our senses as time and space. This is what makes up our universe, it is the plane of our existence. This lattice work makes up all of our body physically. The truth is we only perceive it in a three dimensional reality, but we are in fact existing in higher dimensions. Now the transformation of all the particles into the 8D lattice work, also known as the quasi crystal, produces the mathematical golden ratio which forms everything from the nano subatomic to the supermassive universe. Now using the 8D quasi-crystal theory known as the E8 lattice, the fundamental structures of our reality is producing itself by doubling or halving. The proof just look at your own body with its 37 trillion living cells organised into a conscious system. The question is, have you always existed as something more than just this scientific explanation? Well, let me tell you, you are beginningless and endless, because when we observe the operator and not the operation, we see conscious awareness. We can observe the mind in motion at 10.44 frames per second, yes, that's right. But we also observe existence through the arising of the mind. As the mind interacts with the five senses, we observe each moment, then another moment. So to make it easier to, to observe the mind, let's time the moments so that we can get a 3D observation. By observing around 5 to 6 seconds per moment, we can observe the mind as existing in each moment, one after the other. As in moment 1, mind was present as can be seen by interacting with five sense organs. Moment 2, mind was present, etc, etc and so on. So therefore the only true indication of existence is that our minds are going from one moment to the next and that the mind will go on doing that even when we sleep. And that indicates that it will go on to the next moment, even when we die. And then into another consciously aware being. Then it also seems that if this is the case, then our minds have always done this from beginningless time. So could the answer to existence be this, that we have always existed? not just in this form, and we will always exist, but just not in this form. What I think is this, you exist, you are mind, 
You are free to grow and become, to create and destroy. You are the dark and the light, and you are the choices that you make. You are whatever you perceive yourself to be. You are infinite. And so is existence, even if it is all in our minds. Well, I hope you enjoyed this talk on existence. This is Graham Sampton. Until the next video, wishing you all the very best.